Hey everybody, Rick Needham Handicapping Thoroughbred Racing on Saturday afternoon, February the 4th, and this is my Equibase Winter Circle East Coast Racing Report. Let's go to the Big A Aqueduct. Three big stake races on the card this afternoon, including race 8, 3.57 p.m. Eastern Post Time. This is the Toboggan Stakes. Six furlong sprint on Aqueduct's winterized inner dirt track, grade three. Three year rolls and up race for $150,000. I have a paired entry on top, folks. Number two, Kaisha Electronica, and number two, 2B, Calibra Choa. Also on my list, number 1A, Candyman E, number five, Disky Dance, and number four, Rural by Night. This race has an interesting naming history, folks. Prior to 1896, Morris Park in Brooklyn had a downhill course known as the Slide. In fact, this race was originally named the Toboggan Slide, now re renamed to the Toboggan Stakes. Here in the 119th version of the Slide, number two, Kasha Electronica qualifies. It's Trackmaster plus Power Pony is the overall speed leader in this stakes field. Sprinting at six furlongs on the dirt, has hit the board in power run fashion in four of his last five outings winning twice in this recent streak of racing consistency. His stablemate, number 2B, Caliber Choa, drops in class, has hit the board in power run fashion in both of his last two adventures, including the power run win in his second race back. Number 1A, Flat Bold, has hit the board in four of his last five starts. Race 8 summary, the paired entry of number 2, Kaisha Electronica, and the stablemate, number 2B, Caliber Choa, tops my contenders list today, which also includes number 1A, Candyman E, number 5, Disky Dance, and number 4, Roll by Night, 2154 in the 8th from Aqueduct. Go to Gulfstream Park next for stake race on their card race 3, 129 p.m. Eastern Post Time. This is the Needle Stakes, 5 for a long Sprint on the turf three year olds race for sixty thousand dollars. Contenders number seven, Town Prize, number one, Hello Prince, number six, Martini Madness, and number five, Musical Flair. Number seven, Town Prize takes a class drop of five units as the pace profile leader is at the board in power run fashion in each of his four career starts to date, including a pair of power run wins embedded in this recent streak of racing consistency. He's out of the Spitestown lineage, whose progeny have hit the board at an impressive 50% of more than 2,500 combined lifetime starts to date. For your information, folks, Spitestown also qualifies for my three-star sires list. If you'd like a description of the rigid rules that I employ to make this list, kindly send me an email, and yes, the list and the rules are indeed free. Number one, Hello Prince, comes off back-to-back -back power run wins in his last two starts. However, I downgraded this entry a notch on my contenders list since that last race was some 125 days ago. Race three summary, number seven, Tom Prize, tops the contenders list, which also includes number one, Hello Prince, number six, Martini Madness, and number five, Musical Flair, seven, one, six, five, and the third from Gulfstream Park, the $60,000 Needle Stakes. Bonus long shots, Charlestown, race two, the speed honors in this maiden field, shared by the 10 to 1 bomb, number three, Preach Love, and the 6 to 1 shot, number four, Decola's Holiday. Both entries are also dropping in class. Parks Racing, race two, the 5 to 1 shot, number eight, Key to the Empire, a Trackmaster plus Power Pony qualifier, takes a class drop, nice overall speed for this seven furlong specialized distance sprint. So handicapping for both Aqueduct and Gulfstream Park on a Saturday, Rick Needham for the Equibase Winter Circle, reminding you as always to please bet with your head, not over it.